Now in this problem, we have a roller coaster where a car of mass 600 kilos starts from rest at P, 35 meters above the ground. It travels 80 meters along the track against a constant resistance force of 850 newtons to the point Q, where it has a speed of 12 meters per second. How high above the ground is Q? Okay, so for this, we can go straight in to the work energy principle. So the initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done is equal to the final gravitational potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. Now the initial gravitational potential energy will be mgh and m is 600 and we're starting 35 meters above the ground. So 600 g times by 35 plus the initial kinetic energy. Now, because it starts from rest, the initial kin kinetic energy will be zero. Then we've got the work done. Now, we have this constant resistance force of 850 newtons. So that's going to be taking energy out of the system for 80 meters. So take away 850 newtons times by the 80 meters. And that's our only uh, force that's acting in the direction of motion. Now that's equal to the final uh, gravitational potential energy, which again will be mgh, so 600g times by h, and it is this h that I'm interested in. Okay, that will tell me the height above the ground at the point Q. And the final kinetic energy is one half times m times v squared. Now the final speed is 12 meters per second. So this gives me the h that I need. Okay, so we have 600 times 35. So 21,000 um, g, 850 times 80. So take away 68,000 is equal to 600 gh. And then we've got 0 0.5 times 600 times 12 squared. So plus 43,200. OK. So h will be equal to, we'll have the 21,000 g. And then we've got 6,800, 68,000 rather, plus uh, 43,200. So take away 111,200. And then we're going to be dividing that by 600g. So that's h. So if now if I plug in the g is 9.8. I'm going to get 21,000 times 9.8, take away 111,200 over 600 times 9.8. And we get 2,365 over 147 meters, which is equal to 16.1 meters to three significant figures.